dedicated to children. Yesterday. Oh, my God. They can feel it over now. You had a lot of hair? That's true. By intention. You're right. By intention, you got it off. Well, some of it been on its own. Oh. But uh, it's, uh, it's a joy to um, participate with them in this next step, which is the dedication of this lovely home, for which we certainly give God thanks today. I want to begin by reading Psalm 34, verses 1 through 19. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. I just want to go back to verses 8, 9, and 10. I think it's applicable for the occasion this morning. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, and there is no want to those who fear him. The young lions laugh and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. And so, Stephen and Anika, uh, we stand here today in the blessing of the Lord upon your life because you all made a decision to seek the Lord. And the scripture promises that those who do so, there will be no lack, you know? And so he has proven himself as Jehovah Jireh, yes. the Lord yes. our provider yes. in your lives mm -hmm. as a family. Mm -hmm. So we truly thank God for that mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. We are assembled to dedicate this dwelling to God as a Christian home. It is our hope and faith that it will be a place of happiness, adding to life's meaning for all who shall call it home. The home was the first institution God our Father established for his children. Before the church and before any form of civil government, <laughs> the home was a divine institution. Love was the first bond which linked human lives together, and the home was its expression. The home became the nursery of true faith, of education, of culture, of beauty, and of civilization. In all the course of history, the home is still the greatest of human institutions and the most vital expression of the presence of God. The home is where we find protection from the elements, where food is prepared for nourishment, and where beds are provided for rest from the varying tasks of life. The home is also a symbol of the heavenly home that our Lord has gone to prepare for all his redeemed ones. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 says, 
We have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven, not built by human hands. And so today, we gather to dedicate this home to the Christian ideals for which it was intended, to happiness and peace and to faith in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. In Psalm 127, verse 1, Unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. And thank God that he is the builder of not only this physical material house, but he is also the builder of the spiritual house within this house. All right, I'm going to read some dedication statements. And at the end of each one, I want all of us to join in with, with Steve and Anika. And our response will be, we dedicate this home. Okay? At the end of, of each of the statements, I'll just I'll raise a church of God finger. <laughs> <laughs> your, your response now, remember, your response, we dedicate our home. Okay? <clears throat> With gratitude to God, who has provided the materials and given strength to the builders who erected this home, we dedicate our home to the deep and abiding love which binds the family together. We dedicate our home to the understanding, patience, discipline, and forgiveness essential for, for the growth and fulfillment of the persons who will dwell here. We dedicate this home to the vision, courage, faith, and hope that makes life cheerful and serene, which we believe will all be experienced here. We dedicate this home to the beauty and order and cleanliness that provide a wholesome atmosphere and elevate the spirit of Christian living. We dedicate this home to the training of the bodies, minds, and souls of all who will live within these walls. We dedicate this home to the work of God's kingdom in the world and in, co in cooperation with his church, we dedicate this home. And so together, we dedicate the home of Stephen and Anika Hannah to the glory of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Let's join hands for the prayer of dedication. All right, I'm going to uh, pray the prayer of dedication first, and then I'm going to ask Bishop Burroughs, who is responsible for constructing his home, to also say a prayer for us afterwards. Okay, let's bow. Our God and our Father, we gather here this morning to say thank you for your goodness towards your children, O oh Lord. To say thank you, Father God, for all that you have done over the years to make it possible for this home yes. to be erected, O oh God. Yes. For the blessing, Lord, that you have poured out upon Steve yes. and Anika's life yes. to make the provisions that were necessary for the construction yes. of this home, O oh God. And we acknowledge, O oh Lord, that all good gifts come from the Father. Yes. And so we acknowledge, O oh God, that it is because of you yes. and you are the source of everything that was necessary to make this moment possible that we all stand in today. And so we come now, Father God, to join with them and to dedicate this home to the honor and glory of your yes, name. Yes. And so we pray first of all, Father God, that your hand of protection yes, will God. rest upon this home, O oh God. Yes, we pray that the angel of the Lord that encamps round about yes, those who fear yes. will encamp around every yes. square inch of yes. this property, O yes. oh God. Yes. And every square inch of this home, at every door, at every yes. window, yes. God. Yes. Protecting yes. it from thieves yes. and vandals yes. and anybody, O oh God, with evil intent, O yes. oh God, to cause any kind of destruction to this home, Father. We thank you for divine covering and divine protection today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray also that you will protect this home from situations that affect our country from time to time, such as hurricanes, oh God, that come sometimes with such force of destruction, Lord. We pray that your hand of protection will be upon this home. From things such as fires, oh God, that 
have the power to destroy. We thank you for divine protection, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And Father, it is our prayer that the presence of the Spirit of God will always be within these walls, O oh God. And we pray, God, that Steve and Anika, every time they walk in and out of these doors, will simply remember to say thank you, Lord, for your goodness, O oh God. And for others, oh God, that will come through these doors, whether they are family members or friends or colleagues, for whatever purpose and for whatever reason, that every time they cross a threshold, oh God, they'll feel something within these walls, oh God. That will signify, oh God, that this house, this home has been dedicated to the honor and glory of the God that they know and the God that they serve, oh Lord. And we pray, Father God, that you will use this home also as an instrument in some way as you lead, guide, and direct them to bring honor and glory to your name, Father. To minister to others, O oh Lord, who may need help from time to time, O oh God. And we pray that you would give them a spirit of sensitivity yes, and discernment, yes, O oh God. Yes. For when others, O oh Lord, may need some help yes, during the course of their life. Yes, and Lord. they are able, Father, to reach out yes. and to meet that need. Yes, and so we pray, Father God, that the children that grow up in this home, O oh God, will yes, remember Lord. this day yes, when this home was yes, dedicated Lord. to you, O oh God. Lord. And may as they grow up in this home, O oh Father, may their lives always be affected positively, Father, for the honor and glory of your name, O oh God. And so we thank you, Lord, for what you will continue to do in the Hannah family, Lord. Continue to lead, guide, and direct them, O oh God. Continue to order their steps, O oh God, in all that they do and everywhere that they go. May their lives, O oh God, bring honor and glory and praise to your glorious and precious. And so we together, oh God, dedicate the Hannah home today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to your honor, glory, and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord. And everyone said, Amen. 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 Bishop Burroughs, Father, we just thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for the prayer. Yes. Dedicating this entire home. Yes. Oh God, we know that you are here. Yes, Lord. And I believe you was here when the foundation of this building has put down. Yes. Yes, Lord. God, we begin to say thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Lord, we are thank asking you, Lord. you today yes, Lord. to do a special miracle yes, Lord. within this home. Yes, Lord. Lord God, with your children. Yes. You see Nico and Stephen. Yes, yes. Lord, they not only belongs to their mom and dad, yes, but they belongs to me. But first of all, they belongs to you. Yes, Lord. Lord, yes. there is something you want us to share yes, at this very moment. Yes, Lord. Immediately after you was tempted into the wilderness, yes. you was led, and you went and you ministered the word of God. Yes. And Lord, you said, and seeing the multitude, you went up into a high mountain. Yes. And you open up your mouth mm -hmm. and you taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, yes. for there is the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Blessed are the mourn, yes. for they shall be comforted. Yes. Yes. Blessed are the meek, yes. for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Yes. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Yes. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst of the righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are ye when men shall be mine, and shall say all manner of evil against you all for my sake. Rejoice. You said rejoice yes. and be yes. exceedingly glad. Yes, Lord. For great is your reward in heaven. Yes, Thank you, Lord. For yes, so persecutors, the yes, prophets, Lord. which will be for you. Lord, you see your children today. Yes, Lord. I am asking you, Lord, to allow your anointing of your yes, Holy Spirit yes. to be yes, upon Lord. them as never yet yes, before. Lord. Lord, use them. Yes. Prepare them for the rapture. Yes. Yes. Oh God, because it is about to come yes. any time, yes. we do not know. Yes. So you said in our life that we must study to show ourselves approved. Yes. 
For Wakeman needed not to be ashamed right yes. to find the way of truth. Yes. Oh, yeah. You want us to teach our children. Yes. Teach them in the morning. Yes. Every priest bought of them that they may come out of their beds. Kneel together with the children yes, on the Lord. side. Yes, Giving God the praise yes, and the Lord. thanks. Yes, yes, oh God, I ask that yes, the Holy Lord. Spirit, yes, Lord. oh God, will even be upon the children. Yes, yes. Oh God, I yes, pray, Lord. Father, yes. be with them even with these new type of technology. Mm. Lord, that they are giving the children. Lord, help that the word of God that they will give to the children yes, Lord. as they teach them day by day as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob taught their children. Yes, Lord. Lord, that it will overcome all these technology. Yes, Lord. Lord, that they may wear it as a loose garment. Yes, Let the power of your spirit move yes, upon our minister today yes, that have yes, a delegated this home. Yes, yes, Lord, that every spirit of those men that even came to work who were smoking and drinking, cursing and carrying all Australian languages. Lord, let the power of your Holy Spirit yes. wrap yes. around yes. as you dip it down. Yes. Oh God, I ask that your power will yes. overshadow the yes. Lord. Yes. Lord God, you see. Yes. Oh God, my very minister that is here, I take him as a father. Lord God, he stepped in here a little while ago. Lord, we can feel the presence of the yes, Lord, yes. the anointing of the Holy yes, Ghost yes, as he began to open his mouth. Yes, Lord God, I look upon him and Lord God, this very moment, even the prayer that was uh, what was what was heard a while ago. Lord, I pray that we may wear it as a as a coat, as a garment. Lord, that our ways will be yes. different. Yes. Lord, because we have seen the attitude of our prayer and the way yes. how we yes. pray yes. which yes. now bring the yes. existence yes. of the way the life yes. has been yes. made. Yes. Yes. Oh God, I pray that the power of the Holy Ghost yes. will allow our men, especially in this entire yes. island, especially right now, yes. me, my son, and also the other gentleman that is yes. here, and all of our pastors, we will be an example to this nation. Lord God Almighty, regardless of whatever come. Lord, I pray, Father, and be able to love our wives. Oh God, be able to give them a, an example of our life that our children will follow. Oh God, what we say, Father, but hinders the children. What mommy say hinders the children. But Lord, I come in the name of Jesus Christ that our homes will be different. The Holy Ghost will come upon the home like on the day of Pentecost. Now, Lord, I pray this very moment, Jesus, do one thing. Allow that this home, even our homes, will be ready for a rapture. Who knows at this very moment? Who knows that Jesus is about to come. Lord, help us to be serious, to give our life to Christ. Lord God, not a yes, but serious in the depths of our heart. Lord God, that when we say we leave from home, I leave from home to go to heaven. Hallelujah, glory to God today. Now, Lord, allow your presence yes, to be interweaved yes, that the word of God will be first yes. in this home. Yes. First in this home. Yes. And Steve will look to his wife and say, honey, God is first. Yes. And Nika will look to Steve and say, Steve, God is first. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I pray that it will Grow like a seed, planted yes, yes. by the rivers of water. Yes. And Lord, that every nail, mm. that every wood that was cut, yes, not of my will, but yes, thy Lord. will be done. Yes, yes. Lord. It is you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for covering this home yes, Thank you. Yes. and the delegating yes. of this home. Yes, in Lord. the name of the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. 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 Y
Well, first of all, thank you all, Pastor Cash and Mr. Mandy Cash and my church family, Pastor Dane and Brother and Sister Lopez, thank you all, Bishop Burroughs, my mom and dad, thank you all for coming. Uh, special guests, Valencia and Ron, Evans, <laughs> Newlyweds, and she's been through this journey with us too, Pastor Cash. She stood in our wedding, she was there through the process of Stephen and Sarai when we went through uh, in vitro, um, and to this strong, <laughs> strong man, <laughs> <laughs> whose shoulders I stand on and press on constantly. I want to say thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being here. Um, this time was important for us to do. At first I was hesitant, and um, my dad, he laid, um, we did a ceremony when we did the foundation about six, seven, eight years ago. Um, this process has been long. We purchased the property back in 2003. There was nothing in the back here. Nothing. And every time we went to the bank, we got denied. I think I counted about eight times. But God is faithful. Sister Wendy came to me and she told me she had to be obedient in the word that God planted on her. Sister Lopez, I don't know if you remember that first outfit you got for me. And Pastor Dean, your prophecy over Stephen and Sarai. And I realized, I remember, we had saved up money through ASU and we wanted, Stephen, first thing is, we're not going to the bank, we're gonna fill out a pocket. And being young, we didn't know anything, but figured, okay, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And we had to go through that process. And the money was used for that. But God is so faithful that on the first try we got pregnant, and uh, seven years later, we tried again and we got pregnant again. And I realized through reading and praying and just being ministered to that we had to go through having these children to grow in this home. Building the house would have been empty. It would have just been me and Stephen. But we had to go through that process to make this a home, a family. And so within that process, we celebrated yesterday 16 years of marriage. Wow. Oh, thank you. Oh. Uh, Wendy, Bishop Burroughs can tell you we were set back several times. Um, sometimes I was ready to throw in the towel, frustrated, and um, he got us through. He got us through. And I remember looking, praying at work lunchtime, just didn't go out, and I was praying and read my Bible, and after I raised up my head, I looked at the calendar, and I saw July 7th, and I was like, July 7th, whose birthday was, you know, so important about that, and I called Stephen, I think, like, what's after him, and I said, I, I, said, um, I think we're going to move in July 7th, we're going to move in the house, no matter what is done, what isn't done, we're going to move in. And as I went through the whole process of making plans to get in, get in, because everything that you see here was packed in storage over years. Like we were buying wood floors when Connick Bahamas was on Soldier Road. Daddy went with us to let us know the square footage and they were closing out. We just was trying to get things on sale whenever, just, you know, preparing ourselves. And um, July 7th, the seventh month, Seventh day, 2017, and we decided at 7 p.m. we were going to walk into the stores as a family and give God thanks and praise, which we did. And um, it's through your pastoral, Pastor Cash, I can't, I don't know how many people tell you, but I appreciate you so much. Besides the Christian foundation my parents have put on us and put on me growing up, there is, you make your messages and the way you bring forth the teaching and allowing us to understand what God is capable of doing in our lives if we trust him has been so powerful. 
sometimes when you feel it, like giving up, you realize that the message that you may have put in our spirit at two, three years ago, taking notes in church, we realize that this is this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do. Apply it to your life. And so I say again, thank you so much and continue doing. No matter how many times you may feel discouraged or feel that it's not getting through, you're getting through. Believe me. Mm -hmm. So again, thank you. Um, we are going to have a little celebration with our bridal party and the kids' godparents um, tonight. Because their birthdays are next month, April. So we kind of try to tie everything together. <laughs> she's the 10th, the 12th, and the 14th. 16. And she's 16. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a little so celebration. My brother's the 15th. Um, because my brother's the 15th. Oh, okay. No, 19. 19. Yeah. 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 parents have been villages in our lives as well. And so we wanted to have a small way of honoring them. And our bridal party has stuck with us throughout as well. So uh, I think God has been a part of our lives. Um, whether we wanted it or not, he he does he has he's there and um, we have to honor him and give him praise and glory for that for the people around us. So thank you all for coming and being here. Sometimes and shoveling as well. So you follow up.